Hello everyone, welcome to our PA learners and in this video we are going to discuss about the modify date activity in UI path and this is the activity that is newly added and how uh, this is going to help is this is going to reduce some of the effort that we are doing while manipulating the date in the today's date or the previous dates which we are manipulating or in order to get the first day or the last day uh, there are several other properties that they have given in a single activity so let's explore this activity and see what kind of an outputs this activity will provide us before going that if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos and if you like this video please give it a like if you have any other doubts do mention them in the comment section below so let's jump to uipath studio here after going to uipath studio uh, go to the available section here and then in the programming you can see there is another uh, section called date if you open that you can see the modify date just drag and drop that here so the first things uh, the first property that the input what is the input for this activity the input for this activity is the date so let's uh, take it as today's date where you can mention it as now so it will take uh, today's date there after that uh, what is the other options that we have these are the options that we have we will see that later and what it is asking it is there are two different outputs that we can get from this activity one is as a date time you can save it as a date time and the other is as a text so let, first let's save it with a date time so let's say control k and then give it a name let's say it has change date and if i go to variable section and see it is a variable type of date time let's drag a message box over here and display change date so let's execute this and see the output the, uh, there is nothing that we have done here we given the input as system date time and we are displaying that that's it we haven't added anything other than that so here uh, today's date will be displayed let's see what are the other formats that we can actually uh, use by using this activity what are the different formats that we can set and what are the different properties that they have given for us so it is started let's wait for this to complete and then so this, this is the today's date and let me stop there and here we have options one property is custom date format what is the date format that you want to set for the output and the date format as well you can see there are a different date formats that you can set this is the short month d date and then month mmdd triple by where the month date and the year year month and date so the, there are the different formats that you can select and what is the uh, the format as output as text if you are changing that format you are making it as a string so you need to make it as a text because of that it will make that as a text function text value instead of date time format and if you were using a custom date format we also need to check this so let's see uh, first let's see the modifications that we can add what are the different modifications that this activity has there are three different modifications that this activity has first the find the next or the previous day of the week if you are let's say if it is 7th of 7th and then if you want to find the previous day month or the previous week it will give you the previous week on the same day what is the date or the next or the previous day so let's verify first this one find the next or the previous day and then we will see first we are finding the next and I also select you can also select the day which day you want to uh, get the next previous week from now let's keep it 
add nest day here and let's test this one you can also test it here uh, where it can display you the test date input and the result as well it will display the result there it is july 29 2021 we are looking at the next week on wednesday if you test this you can see that it is august 4th next wednesday next wednesday the date is august 4th so let's check that as well the august 4th is the next wednesday so this is how uh, it actually works so it is it is also giving it is, these are also giving us the test to test what is the values if you want to change it you can also change the date let's say it is 30th july and if i test this uh, still this is august 4th because we selected wednesday here if i select any other day and then test it again it will give us the different result see it is august 5th so this is the next let's see for the previous week you can see that it is july 22nd which is the previous week so this is how the find next or previous day of the week uh, modification works with the given current date time what is the date time that you added uh, if you want to add or subtract any days hours or minutes you can add it from here add or subtract and the value what is the value that you want to add or subtract let's say we are adding two and we are adding days weeks months years so th these are the four different options they have given either you can add days weeks months and years let's say uh, we add days and click on test it is july 29 so it will be 31st so it added two days to it if i want to subtract it if i can subtract that as well so it is july 27th so this is the other modification that is given here let's delete that and add one more modification that is there find start or end of week or month or year you can um, basing on the input that you are passing you can find that particular find the start of that particular year or the end of that particular year or a uh, start of that particular month or the end of that particular month or start of the week or end of the week so these are six different options that you can use from this modification where you can find the first day on the end last day so let's say we want the first day of the year and if i click on test it is july 29th so it will be january 1st 2021 so this will be the uh, first day and this will be the last day which is december 31st 2021 so this is how uh, you can work with this select for the month this is the last day is july 31st so that is how this modification works these are the three different modifications that um, this activity has and you can also test them uh, right there and format now we can look at this option which is format output as text if you click that then it is asking you to use the custom format which you are telling it or use this format let's say we want it to be in this format and we need to save it as a result because we are using the format output as text we here we can't use uh, this change date variable again because it is a date time and the output that it is getting from here is a text so we cannot use this let's create another variable which says changed date one because it is a, um, a text string variable it is taken that as a string variable so change date one and let's see let's uh, execute this and see whether it is giving us the today's date in this format or not so see this 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 is given just like this so this is how uh, we can change a format the dates according to our needs and there are uh, several other different formats that you can use if you want to use the custom format and you can write that particular format here uh, let's say we need date we need uh, date month year so this is the format that i needed if i uh, want to use it that way if you want to mention your own uh, date format you can also do that here uh, by uh, giving it in the double quotes 
and this is how uh, this modify date activity works and there are uh, different modif uh, modifications that you can work on uh, in order to get those dates in order to uh, instead of using different assign activities and doing those passes uh, pass exact and different things to get um, the date time to a required format we can use this activity and do it in a simpler way and that's it that's it for this video i think we covered every property that the modified date has and this is all about the modified date activity and that's it for this video thanks for watching